Hey folks, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters, and I'm getting ready to show you a 1952 Smith Corona Sterling. And this is super classic. Just um, your average vintage typewriter, but it's also the old faithful of typewriters. So Sterling's has been around forever. They made these for like three or four decades. Just awesome typewriters. So let's take a look at this particular one and see how it compares to some of the other Sterlings. Okay, so paper holder, margins, press and drag, both sides, wherever you want. And remember, wherever you have the margin set is where the carriage, is, as far as the carriage will move. So um, to move your carriage, press in the lever back here. It's on either side. And there's the cute little bell. It's kind of a funky little bell. It's kind of like a pink, not a ding, but a pink. Okay. Um, so that's the carriage paper release looking good. When you hit your return handle, it's going to advance. So your line selector will tell you if it's going to advance one, two or three lines depending on personal preference. The, um, it's great to be able to take notes in between lines if you are um, writing a first draft of something. Okay, I'm gonna move this over to the left. A little dink bell. And let's open this up and inside you'll see a universal ribbon. Um, so obviously not the original ribbon spools. We've put in a universal one and um, which works just fine for this. This is called the escapement and it is a floating shift, which all of them start doing pretty much after from now until later, which means instead of when you hit the shift button before the whole carriage would lift up and it would be like clunk, clunk. Um, and then with the floating shift, the escapement moved. Voila, innovation, right? Okay. That was a rabbit trail. Okay, when um, it's time to change your ribbon, please make sure you thread it through the guide wires properly or else this won't work right. So I have taken a photo of this. It is, you can find it in the link in the description below. Go to the product listing and find the images and bookmark it or save it or whatever you need to do and um, keep that as a reference. When you change it out, make sure black is on top, red is on bottom. This is a short ribbon, but there's a lot of ink in it, so it's gonna last you a long time, which means you need to reverse it back and forth dozens of times before you replace it. And to do that is this button here. That's your ribbon reversal. Bada bing. Okay, over here is your color selector. It's on red, you can flip it up for black. In the middle is a white button that means stencil. You will never use it. Don't put it on there because your typewriter won't type properly and you'll wonder what's wrong and that's nothing. It's just need, you just need to make sure that the selector is solidly on the black or the red. And actually the button, the little dot looks blue. So blue, red, but it's actually black and red. Okay, tab, tab sets. Let me show you how to set your tabs up here. You just pull this baby back, voila. And let me lift up the typewriter for you. Okay, here are your tab stops. Bada bing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six in there. All of them are there. And you just pull them out. That's what they look like. I call them tab keys. And then you've got the metal bar with grooves in it. So you just pick a groove and slide it in there. And that is your tab. Super simple. Obviously you don't need to lift up your typewriter to do it. I just lifted it up so you could see it. Okay. And so you can see the front it has a green logo, green keys. And let's do some typing on it. Okay, so let's do a typing tutorial or demonstration for this one. So I'm gonna bring in my margins a little more narrow. 
right here and I'm just gonna set the paper and actually that's too far over this is a smaller carriage so I'm gonna move my guide wires back I'm gonna move my margins back this way and set it there turn the handle and um, pull this forward and I got it really crooked so this is just a good example of how to fix that here's your paper release pull that forward adjust it to where you want push it back and voila okay so let's go ahead and start typing this is a 1952 and so you'll notice there's no number one so you use the lowercase l i'm going to now pull this forward a bit and pull it forward a little bit more and let's go ahead and type so 1952 Smith Corona Sterling. And let's tap. And we'll do the. So when you're typing, your your typewriter is just gonna, especially if you're on a slick surface, it, it's just gonna move all over the place. So you wanna have it on a um uh, uh, something that's not very slick or and it's going to come soon we have typewriter pads which are really nice they protect your tables but we have ordered typewriter pads that have a non-slip bottom on it and so we'll have that starting um, January 2021 and those are going to be fantastic okay let's keep going So this is a very good typewriter. This is gonna be excellent for, you know, active writers. Um, you're gonna be really happy with this. Now it is portable, comes with a nice case, uh, a yellow tweed case. Um, the fabric on the outside is a little bit torn on this particular one, but um, it's still a very solid case. And there's that little bell, it's so teeny. Um, and this types, y'all, this types so nice. Okay, let's try the red. Whoops, I'm getting ahead of myself, backspace. Backspace does not erase, folks. The backspace is to use when you make mistakes, but it doesn't erase your mistakes. You just go back and you type over them, which is totally fine. It's just part of using a typewriter. You can use an eraser on the back of a pencil. You can use wide out. Just make sure it's completely dry before you type over it. Um, sometimes you can find those little strips, but um, you, know, you can't expect perfection in using a typewriter. It's just that's part of it and it's okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. The bell just sounded and so normally I would hit <clears throat> that return handle but I'm gonna keep going so I can show you the margin release. And all through. Okay, so now it's completely stopped. That means I'm at the very end of my margin. So you just hit MR right here on the right side and now I can go to the next line. Margin release, so I can finish my word. And voila! So this is a smaller font. It looks like it's a 12 CPI. Good for um, longer writing projects. The keys are very smooth, um, nice. They're they're firm, but they're not stiff. There's a difference. And um, bounce back is excellent. So the keystroke is really good. I found that this would be good. I've typed on it actually many times. It's easy to get into a flow. It's good for smaller hands. 
And if you're a faster typist, I think it can keep up with you as well. So this is gonna be an excellent typing machine for an active writer. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll take a photo of this. You can find it in the product listing below. You all have a great day.